Dawn Compton, the pastor of Main Street United Methodist Church, and I am here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. As we enter into 2023 and begin this new year here at Main Street, we are going to begin with a new worship series entitled Bread, Bath, and Beyond. We're going to look at how Holy Communion and how the sacrament of baptism sustains us and gives us what we need so that we can go beyond the walls of this church, out into the world, sharing the good news with the people that we meet, and serving people as we serve God. I hope you will join us and be a part of that. And in thinking about that, it got me thinking about this passage of Scripture. This is from John uh, 4, beginning with verse 7. A Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me some water to drink. His disciples had gone into the city to buy him some food. The Samaritan woman asked, Why do you, a Jewish man, ask for something to drink from me, a Samaritan woman? Jews and Samaritans didn't associate with each other. Jesus responded, If you recognize God's gift and who is saying to you, Give me something to drink, you would be asking him, and he would give you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you don't have a bucket, and the well is deep. Where would you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Jacob, are you? He gave this well to us, and he drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that I will give will never be thirsty again. The water that I give will become in those who drink it a spring of water that bubbles up into eternal life. The woman said to her, him, Sir, give me this water so that I will never be thirsty and will never need to come here to draw water. Friends, I, I hope that as you enter into 2023, you will spend some time contemplating what will provide that living water for your spirit. What do you need to have in your life that will then just bubble up in you to, to help uh, guide you into that eternal living? What do you need in your life that will help sustain you so that you can walk in this journey that God is calling you to walk on. That you can go down this path throughout 2023 and beyond as a disciple of Jesus Christ. Many ways that you can look at to get that sustenance, to get that living water. Worshiping uh, with us here at Main Street, possibly. Spending time in prayer or reading a devotional book. Spending time reading scripture spending time in some small groups, maybe spending time in mission and in ministry and helping those in need. I encourage you to spend some time thinking about what do you need? What does your, your spirit need? What does your soul need to be able to be filled to overflowing with God's love, ready to take that out into the world? I want to lift up some of the work that we're doing here at Main Street in this first week of 2023 as we are envisioning what it might hold for us as well here at this uh, faith community. We are continuing our confirmation classes. Typically, they meet on the first Sunday of the month, but in January, we're going to meet on January 8th, the second Sunday. We didn't think meeting on uh, the new year would be a good idea. So we're going to meet on January 8th, everyone involved in the confirmation class. If you're interested in participating, you're more than welcome to come and see what that is about. We, As we are transitioning into the new year, we need to take down the Christmas decorations. If you're willing to help with that and provide some resources for that, we're going to look at doing that on January 3rd. Uh, that day. So if you were 
interested in doing that, let the church office know so we can have that, uh, have those extra hands to take down this and make light work of the of the work that needs to be done with that. On January 5th, our men's group will have their first meeting of the year, first gathering of the year. And later that same evening at 7 p.m., our trustees will have their first meeting of the year. On January 8th, again that Sunday, Bread for the Journey will have a uh, planning and visioning retreat that afternoon and looking to where God is leading that ministry into the new year and expanding what we've been doing in 2022. And then lastly, I want to lift up a, a mission opportunity for you. Throughout the year, we collect jars of peanut butter that help the, the Food for Kids ministry so that the children can take home a jar of peanut butter. And sometimes that's what helps sustain them uh, through the weekend and into the next week. And we are starting off the year a little bit short with the numbers of uh, bottles or, or containers of peanut butter that we need. So if you have some extra peanut butter, if you're willing to get some extra peanut butter, uh, bring it up to the church within the next week or so. That would be greatly appreciated so they can start off fully stocked with the peanut butter that they need for the Food for Kids ministry. Friends, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you were able to truly celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. I hope that you are preparing yourself for the new year as we approach 2023 and know that you are welcome to worship with the Main Street community. We worship in person every Sunday at 1030 or you can worship with us online. God bless and Happy New Year.